Uh, man, uh, I got the. We're going vertical tonight, and uh, thank y'all for being here tonight. I'm gonna change something up real quick. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget like, subscribe, comment below. Y'all are awesome out there. Happy three pack Thursday. We got a really special day today. Happy opening day of baseball season. I want to thank y'all all for being here, man. We got an awesome night. We already got some great people in the chat. Brian Basketball in the house. We got Brandon Jensen, the GOAT, in the house. Thank you. And uh, Yoda, shout out Guru Bibstar in the house. Thank y'all very much, man. Appreciate y'all being here. We are live tonight here on 3-Pack Thursday. It's my favorite night of the week. And you know what? This is a special day today. Today, we celebrate opening day. Now, my Braves aren't playing today. They're going to play tomorrow. They got rain delayed. But... It's opening day, <laughs> so I'm glad baseball season's here. I love baseball season. Whatever you're cheering for, man, I love you all. Uh, happy to open the day. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit here. We got Matty Ice in the house. Go Cubs, man. I know he's excited about his Cubs this season. They're looking good, really ready for a big baseball season, and I'm going to adjust this camera just a little bit down here. There we go. See if we can get all the packs in here. There we go, right. I don't know if we can get them all in there, but let's see. I'll show you what we're going to rip tonight. We got... Awesome packs tonight. So we have got, we're gonna rip four packs tonight, and we're gonna do a VR for Fox Crew cards tonight. And what we're gonna do is it's gonna be an interactive live stream tonight. We're going vertical. We're vertical here. Uh, I thought that was awesome last week. We had some amazing support last week when we went vertical. So we're gonna do it again this week, and we're gonna rip four packs today. Now let me show you what we're gonna be ripping. We're ripping three years of top series one because it's day number one of baseball season. We're going to rip some 2022, we're going to rip some 2023 tops, and we're going to rip some 2024, and to top it off tonight, we are going to rip some opening day. That's right, we're going to go looking for Will Vogg's Aaron Judge rookie in here uh, in opening day 2017. I got this from a Target a blaster box oh, a couple months ago. So I'm super pumped about that. Let me see if I can get all the all the packs in here. Man, the chat's blowing up, y'all. Thank you so much for being here, y'all. Don't forget like, subscribe, comment below, y'all. Y'all are awesome. Let's go to the chat. See, we got we got DM Dan Card openings. Dan in the house, man. I'm super pumped about tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, me, Dan, and Perch are gonna be live on the hockey night show, overtime hockey show. I'm super pumped. 9 p.m. Eastern time. I think that's right. I'm super pumped, man. I've been getting my hockey cards ready. I'm really excited about talking about. My favorite hockey cards. Now, <laughs> we were talking on Instagram this week. Man, Sith Monday night was killing man. He was bringing the fire. Now, you could you could give the OT Hockey Show theme this week is going to be treasure to trash because when you see Sith's amazing collection, it's it's a treasure, man. It's awesome. He's got one of the best hockey collection I've ever seen. Now, when you see mine, it's going to be trash because look, I got a lot of minor league hockey players, a lot of no name guys. I got a few. I got an autograph or two. I'm going to show. But a lot of it's PC stuff, but I love hockey, y'all. I love hockey cards, and I'm really excited about talking about hockey. I don't get to talk about hockey a lot here on the channel, but I'm super pumped about tomorrow night. Y'all join us tomorrow night, man. We're going to have my Thrasher jersey on. We're going to be killing it tomorrow night, Friday night. And y'all, them guys are killing it on Friday nights. Last Friday night, man, they had Leaf Fan down under. It was so awesome, man. I'm super pumped about tonight. Budget Rips in the house, baby. He hit 1K tonight, y'all. Let's celebrate in the chat, man. Shout out Budget Rips, man. I just saw it on Instagram. 1K, baby. Let's go, man. I'm so pumped, man. I'm not as pumped as you are, man. That's awesome. We got CCB in the house. Jason in the house going to us from Canada, getting ready for his Blue Jays. Uh, we got Zach's collection. Oh, my gosh. 100 Jank Pack Thursday live stream tonight. If you have not seen that, you need to go watch it. It was an amazing stream. I was eating dinner, eating some ice cream. I wish I could have joined up. But uh, I had just come in, and I was not... I had to get the kids to bed. I wanted to come join them. They were having an awesome, awesome stream. Uh, Perch is in the house. There he is. I'm excited about tomorrow night, man. Y'all need to tune in. It's going to be an awesome night of hockey. I'm going to be showing some cards I've never shown on the channel. And it's going to be an awesome night of hockey. And I'm super... My sports car ripping teacher Vince in the house. Super pop. He's getting ready for his Cubs, man. Oh, man. I'm, if I'm missing anyone, Barrett Bayhurst in the house, man. Barrett, you going live tonight? Barrett in the house. Thank you, Kenneth. Bird in the house. Julie Farnham in the house, man. Hey, Julie. Getting ready for the Twins. Uh, man, this is awesome, man. So many awesome people, man. I appreciate it. I was watching some of Julie's videos this week. Uh, she's, she's killing it, man. She's making awesome channels. Uh, 
awesome videos out there. We got Barry Barry in the house. Barry was saying tonight in the chat, I'll get ready, Barry. Brace play tomorrow, man. But happy opening day to everybody. Whoever you're pulling for, man, hope you have a great opening day. Hey, we're all undefeated in this day, unless you've already played today. <laughs> but uh, this is awesome, man. Let's see if I'm hoping I'm not missing anybody here in the chat. But uh, man, this is awesome, y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here. We got a great three pack Thursday tonight. Let's see if I miss it, man. Y'all just, just started to explode here. Let's see here. Budget Ribs, Perch, Berry Berry, Matty Ice, uh, Vince. Let's see here. Kenneth Bird. There you go. All right. That's the thing. That's everybody there. Yeah, there we go. Um, so here's what we're going to do tonight, man. We're going to be ripping four packs tonight. We got, uh, let me show you what packs. I'm going to kind of move this around. We got, we're going to start off with some 2022. These all come from blaster boxes. 2023 tops. Open everything series one because this is day one. 2024, my boy Ronald Acuna. Now look at that. There's a Atani, Julio, Acuna. And then we're going to come over here 2017. We're going Aaron Judge hunting tonight. So, man, this is going to be a great episode tonight. But also, we're going to do, be doing a VR. Now, what we're going to do, I don't know if y'all seen Fox Crew Cars. He's a great channel. I've been watching him for years. Every year, I've wanted to do his MLB prediction. I think I did it one year a few years ago. But I wanted to do it again tonight, and I'm going to do it a part of this entire stream. So what we're going to do tonight is we've got to answer, I think it's 24 questions. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this into 6, 12, 18, 24. Every six questions, we're going to rip a pack. So that's what we're going to do tonight. I got the questions here on my computer, and uh, super pumped, y'all. Super pumped. Y'all, we're vertical, so I'm having a, you know what's crazy? Going vertical like this, you can see the top part of my screen up here. Maybe I need to put some more blaster boxes up here. Let's see. Let's put some more blasters. Let's put Stephen Curry up here. Maybe that'll cover it. There's Stephen Curry. No, that doesn't cover it. I got him up there above the ant man. Let's see. Here, we'll put, we'll put this one right here. Let me see. We'll put Steph Curry. I'm trying to cover this top up here so y'all don't see my wall. There we go. There. Let me, pull, let me see if I can... Does that cover everything? Let's see. Let's move. Oh, I got some more blaster boxes. Y'all, I have so many blaster boxes. If you saw how many blaster boxes I've ripped over the years, you'd be like, man, Zach, you're a card addict, dude. You're going to put you in rehab. It's a lot. It's a lot. There, I think we cover most of it there, yeah. There we go. Oh, my gosh. All right, there we go. I think we can cover the ball there. Uh, This is awesome. And purchase kids are professional artists. Yeah, man, they... They had some great... What a stream last Friday night with Lee Fan down under. I've always wanted to see him live, him and his wife. One of my favorite hockey channels. I was so pumped to see them and him and Dan on last Friday night. It was such an awesome stream. And Monday night with Sith. Man, that was awesome. And uh, I'm looking forward to being on there tomorrow night. Yeah, let's go here. Man, I'm so pumped for Zach's collection, man. I wanted to jump on because I had some jank packs I wanted to come rip with y'all guys. Uh, but I didn't get the chance. We got Papa and Baby Bear in the house. Hey, Papa and Baby Bear, how you doing, man? Thanks for stopping by, man. I bet he's excited about his Chicago teams. Let's see here. We got else. Who else? What else got on here tonight? Okay. So, oh, 23 March. Did I shout him out? 23 March in the house. How you doing, 23 March? All right. So, we're going to have a great episode tonight, y'all. Happy opening day, I hope. And, and y'all, as we go through tonight's stream, what I want you to do is we're going to be answering, and I wrote all the questions down, so we're going to go through them. We're going to do six questions at a time, and then we're going to rip a pack of baseball cards, okay? That's how we're going to do this VR. And I want you to encourage you to go over to um, Fox Crew Cards. Their channel is in the description below. Jump on their bus, man. I, this, I'm going to see where they're at right now. Sub count wise. Uh, I think they're about six or seven hundred. They got a great channel. Um, let me go. I'll just jump over their channel right now. I've been watching them for years. They're they're at four fifty two, man. They should be way above that. They've been. This is the sixth annual prediction contest. So what you're gonna do is you're predicting this year's upcoming baseball season. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through these questions, and then I want y'all in the chat to tell me what y'all think, who who your predictions are, and we're gonna have fun with this tonight, man. This is gonna be fun, interactive. And it's all about the chat, y'all. We're going to have some fun. It's three-pack Thursday. We're doing four tonight because this is opening day of baseball season. Good luck to all y'all's teams this year, whoever you're pulling for. Um, I'm going to be chopping on for my line of Braves this season. Here, let me give them a plug here. 
before I might, I might take out a Tawny right here. There he is. I'm cheering for this team I'm from the A. I don't know if y'all saw my Instagram picture today. I had some, they had Braves Day in the cafeteria. <laughs> and they gave away Braves glasses. Uh, they had Cracker Jacks. It was a big opening day celebration. We, we celebrate the A, baby, because we love baseball down here in ATL. Um, so we're excited about this uh this channel so go over there fox crew car their channels in the description below it's a great father son channel uh they love their rip sports cards and this this contest is so much fun uh they they love the tampa bay and a lot of other teams as well they're great collectors in the hobby and uh you know it's just great you know i, I love to open sports cards with my daughters we went sports card hunting today uh we love opening packs together and collecting sports cards and Pokemon cards and all kinds of stuff together. So that's that's what the hobby's all about, man. That's what it's all about. The love of the hobby is right there with the youth and dads and you know, it's just I was watching a video the other day <laughs> and it was this guy and he was it, it, somebody was making fun of him because he collects sports cards and he was about my age. And he says, you know what? It reminds me of being a child. And then, the, you know, when you collected as a kid and those good memories you had. And there's nothing wrong with that, y'all. Y'all keep collecting. No matter how old you are, whether you're 70, 8, however, whatever age you are, man, you keep collecting, y'all. I'm going to be collecting when I'm 70 if I can still read and remember. <laughs> but I thought it was a great video. Um, but sports cards are for all ages everyone and um i just want y'all to know that man i mean i really feel that way that uh sports cards are for everyone and uh, i want to thank y'all out there man i don't care how old i am i'm gonna be in the sports car section. i had a restock today at target by the way y'all but i didn't even film it because there wasn't that much great product i think the best thing i saw was upper deck golf today <laughs> they had a bunch of solo prism football packs but i was looking for some upper deck series two hockey but I still haven't seen that anywhere um hack in the house how you doing, man? I said it right. Last time you came on, it was, I said HAQ, but I know on Spontic, you said you call it Hack. Man, he's got a great live stream. How you doing, Hack? I need to start collecting cards. Just always hesitate to buy at the last second, man. Oh, oh man. Good luck, man. Uh, you got a great channel, man. Keep up the great content, man. Hack in the house. And uh, Maiden's World of Wax. Maiden in the house. Maiden and, and Tim, they went live last night. Uh, they were doing one of these vertical live streams as well. Uh, they had a great stream last night. Uh, Golly, go check them out. Uh, Y'all stay tuned. I might be on Maiden soon. Y'all stay tuned. You might want to tune in. <laughs> Looking forward to that. I don't know if they want to say anything about that yet, but I might be on that channel soon. You better stay tuned. I bought a ton of golf. Yeah, I know. I, you know, the Masters is next week in Augusta, man. And uh, that's, you know, here, here in Georgia. So it's a big, that's one of my favorite golf tournaments of the year. I don't watch golf probably. Except for the Masters. That's my favorite turn. I look at that as the championship of golf, kind of like the Daytona 500. Uh, it's one of my favorite times of the year. I love. Um, did you get upper deck? To, yeah, he said he got some uh, golf. That's, I know. Now, I had a mega of, of prison basketball at Walmart last night, which I thought was the best thing I've seen in the last couple of days. I had not hit a Target restocking forever. Uh, then she was stocking in the shelves, and I was talk showing my daughter how you'd be respectful to the stalker, you know, on a sports car restock. I kind of treat it like, you know, when somebody's out in the woods and they see, like, a wild animal for the first time? That's what I kind of feel like when I'm in a Target and I see a sports car restock. Because you got to be real quiet. you got to be respectful. <laughs> Can't be too loud or she might kick you out of the store. Because <laughs> you might just get too excited to see that sports car restock. But uh, uh, it was a fun time, man. We had a great time. And we were on the hunt today. We were down getting some potting soil. And I said, hey, let's stop over and run over to Target and see what they they got today. And I hit a restock, which was I was quite surprised. But I didn't see anything that spectacular. Prism cellos, I've seen those for months. Uh, golf, let's see what else did I see. Did I see anything else? Oh, they had Prism NASCAR, which is pretty cool. I like NASCAR. I like Prism. Um, I think that's about all I really saw. I didn't see anything real spectacular that I wanted to get. So... I just went down the toy aisle. I even looked for, I looked for some Monopoly Prism because they had a special on toys. And um, I didn't really see much there either. So didn't get anything today on the hunt. But I did get some potting soil. Shout out to Will Voggs, low sticks, man. Uh, got some potting soil keeping Will Voggs in business, baby, man. I got. I kept you in business there, Will. Uh, yeah, yeah. So let's see here. Um, I'm not seeing Upper Deck Series 2 yet. Now, I mean, she was restocking today. I was trying to look through what she had. She was Excel and... She had no Upper Deck Series 2, so I was like, man. Since they Domino Tony in the house, he was showing some awesome TTM returns. I love the Night Court TTM he had tonight. That was one of my favorite shows as a kid. 
uh, Tony, and I uh, really enjoyed that. Dirk Remington in the house. Hey, Dirk. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. So here we go. We got, we got a long show tonight, so I better get going. Let's see if anybody else is in here in the chat that I missed before we get going. DK, have it your way in the house. Hey, DK, how you doing, man? Super pumped by having DK here. He's there every week. He's one of the best here in the community, and I appreciate DK being here. All right, y'all. So here we go. Oops, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick this box right here because you can still see my wall right there. I'm trying to hide my wall. <laughs> you don't want to see my wall. <laughs> you just need to see sports car boxes. You see how much stuff I ripped. See all those boxes in the back, man. I've been ripping for a while, man. It kind of makes me depressed when I say how much I've ripped over the years. All right, well, let's not think about that. <laughs> if you saved all your boxes, you'd feel this way, too. That's why it's probably better to throw these away when you rip them. <laughs> I like them. They kind of make a nice, colorful display. Um, I got another one over here behind it, too. But, um, all right, we got sports cars and things. Aaron in the house. Just build the wall. That's right. I'm building the wall, man, the sports car wall. That's right, that's right. All right, so, hey, Rex in the house. Man, so many awesome people are popping up here. Rex in the house. Hey, Rex, we got 42 in the chat. Y'all are killing it, man. Y'all are killing it. Thank y'all. Uh, we got Rex in the house coming to us from the great state of Utah, man. I hope it's going great out there in Utah. It's been a little chilly here in Georgia. Uh, spring is coming soon, y'all. We're getting to April. Uh, you know what we're going to do next week? Oh, Daryl's in the house. Hey, Daryl. Daryl in the house coming to us from Jersey. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna have, I think I got something big planned for next week, because next week I'm gonna be out on spring break, watching the kids, and uh, we're gonna have a big stream here next week, we're gonna be ripping a ton of packs, y'all stay tuned to that, and then the next week after that, we're gonna go live at the farm, now we haven't been to the farm and done a live stream for three back Thursday since the sunflower fields, but you know what, I am growing some awesome crops in the greenhouse, and we're gonna be ripping some packs in the greenhouse in two weeks, y'all. So y'all stay tuned to that. I'm excited about that live stream. We're going to be live from the Zach Sports Cards and Collectibles Greenhouse, a.k.a. Bice Family Farms, my farm. And we're going to be showing you all the awesome plants I'm growing, and we're going to rip some packs. And uh, looking forward to taking y'all out on that field trip, man. Sports cards and greenhouses. That's where I bring my two hobbies together. It's where Zach the Gardener and Farmer comes together with Zach Sports Cards and Collectibles. And if you don't know who Zach the Gardener and Farmer is, you should check it out. I'm a big fan of his channel. That's me. Uh, and my Garden and Farmer channel, man. We're growing, man. We hit 350 this week. Hey, I've been doing... I've been... You know, uh, I saw Seth talking about how he's been growing... Um, PSA tendencies and uh, Seth Lordy's channel. He just hit 1K, man. Congratulations to Seth. And I was like, mm, I need to do that with the gardening channel. So, you know, it's hard to grow gardening. Sports card stuff, I know it real well how to, then the shorts pop. But I'm trying to learn how to do the shorts with the gardening. And I've been trying to do a lot of popping about four or five shorts out a night on that. And, um, you know, we've been getting some growth in there. So I'm hoping it'll keep going. And I try to get to 1K before the end of the year. You know, that'd be awesome. I might even go live on the gardening show tomorrow. Y'all stay tuned. If you're subscribed to my gardening channel, I might be live from the greenhouse tomorrow. So y'all tune into that. Let's go to the chat, man. Y'all are killing it. Thank you, Daryl, for being here, man. That's all. Southern Fried Cards in the house. Man, they had a great episode this week. I was watching them open some packs this week. All right, y'all. Here we go. Let's start off with the VR. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and a shout out to Fox Crew Cards. They got a great channel. And what we're going to do is we're going to answer 25 questions um, for the upcoming baseball season. So our first question is, who is who do you think is going to win the American League East? So let's just go down. You know, be honest with you, I want to. I don't. I can't even remember all the divisions. So I'm. Gonna, <laughs> that's bad. It's horrible. Um, I'm going to go look at the standings, and, and I'm going to predict all my winners here in, in each division. It's horrible. I don't know who's in each division. And, uh... I'm not a true sports fan, y'all. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, y'all. All right, let's go to the standings. Okay, we're going to go to the American League East. In the American e League East, I'm gonna. there's Baltimore, New York, Yankees, Toronto, Boston, and Tampa Bay. And I'm going to take... Hmm. Who are y'all? Let me know in the chat who you're going to take. You take Baltimore, Yankees, Toronto, Boston, Tampa. Man, that's going to be a good division. I think Baltimore, the Yankees, and Toronto are going to battle all, all season long. Um, 
I'm going to take the Yankees. Oh, that's tough as a Braves fan. Sorry, Daryl. I know Daryl loves his Yankees. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to I'm going to take the Yankees uh and then maybe Baltimore comes in with a wild card, but uh for the American League East, I'm taking the Yankees. So there's question number 1. So I'm taking the Yankees. American League Central. American League Central, I'm going to take let's see. Let's go to the American League Central. You have Detroit, Minnesota, Cleveland, White Sox, and Kansas City. Wow, I think this is a wide open division. Um, you know what? I'm gonna get wild here. And Julie Farnham's in the chat. Julie Farnham, this is for you, Julie Farnham. I'm gonna take your Minnesota Twins and win it this year. Um, I'm gonna see the Minnesota Twins are gonna win the American League Central. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Question number three. And question number three is. The American League West winner. Who do y'all think is going to win the American League West? Let's go here. American League West is Oakland, Seattle, Texas, Houston, Angels. Well, everybody's probably going to take Texas, right? You know what? I'm going to take Texas too. What the heck? <laughs> I'm going to take the. I'm going to take the. I'm going to take Texas that beat Houston. Um, you know what? I think Texas, man, they had a great season last year. I think they're for real. And I'm going to take Texas to win the American League West. Uh, all right, so that's that one. And then the next one is a National League East. <laughs> you know who I got in the National League East, y'all. <laughs> I think it's not even a question right here. It's this team right here. Whoa! Chop on, baby. Chop on. Uh, we'll have these guys win the National League East. Um, sorry, y'all, but <laughs> I'm over. <laughs> And then National League Central, hmm, that's a tough one. National League Central. Who am I going to have win the National League Central? I'm going to take, hmm, National League Central. You know what? I'm going to take Matty Ice and the Sports Car Ripping Teacher Chicago Cubs to win the National League Central, y'all. I really, I think the Cubs are for real. <coughs> and I think they got a good team. And uh, I really think the Cubs are going to go all the way. I mean, not all the way. I think they're going to win the National League Central. So I'm going Cubbies, man. Hope Sports Car Ribbon Teacher Vince and Matty Ice like that. And all the Cubs fans in here. All right, so let's go to the other division. So we got I got Braves, Cubs in the National League. Um, National League West. Well, I, you know, you could say the Dodgers, right? Dodgers are loaded. They got a Tony. I don't know. I got this feeling the Dodgers... May may be good, but they may not be up to the potential everybody thinks they're gonna be. And I think Arizona is not a joke. And I'm gonna take Arizona Diamondbacks because I like Corbin Carroll. And I'm taking the Arizona Diamondbacks to win the National League West. But I tell you, the Dodgers win it. I would definitely not be surprised because they're really good. And then for the National League, yeah, that's the National League. So I got Braves, Arizona, and then um, Cubs. All right, so that. That's my first six questions right there, yeah. So I'm taking ALS. Yep, that's my first six questions. So there we go. Six questions. We're going to rip a pack, y'all. Here we go. Let's go to the chat before we do that. Let's see what we got here in the chat. Thank you all for being here, man. We all are killing it tonight. We got, I mean, we got here 56 in the chat. Woo, let's go, man. Let's go. Thank you all. Dodgers if Atani plays. <laughs> yeah, y'all let me know in the chat who you got here. You got all of those winners. Let me know who y'all got. Let's rip some 2022. There's Otani right there on the cover. We're going to rip some of this and see what we get tonight, y'all. All right. This came from a blaster box. And I've been saving it for this stream right here, y'all. This is a this is an episode tonight, three years in the making. And we're going to start off right here with Anthony Rizzo right there. Anthony Rizzo for the Yankees. And I've got... There you go. And then Fernando Tatis right there for the Padres. We got Christian Vasquez right there for the Red Sox. Bryce Hooper, Harper, man. Braves play the Phillies tomorrow in their first game tomorrow. I'm very excited about the game tomorrow. Go Braves. And then here we go, St. Louis Cardinals. There's Goldschmidt right there. Houston Astros team card right there. Shout out to Sean the Jedi Master. And the Bipster, I know they love their San Diego Padres team card right there. And then we have Tampa Bay. Boy, this has got a lot of team cards in there. Tampa Bay Rays. 
in the house. Fox Crew card, shout out to them, man. And then we have Luis Robert right there. Mike Gaskrinski for the Giants. Uh, Hanser Alberto for the Royals. Chris Flexen right there for the Mayors. Tim Incarnito Sports Guard, shout out to him. And 2021's greatest hits, Jesse Winkler right there. That's a rainbow, I think that is. That's cool. And then our last card is, got shout out to all the Blue Jays fans out there. Jays Mix, CCB, Kaylee and Jordan Squad. Let's name all of them here in the chat. So many of them. And uh, DJ Wise in the house. Thanks for stopping by, man. Um, Bo Bichette right there. And the, look at the red uniforms the Jays have. Usually you see them in the blue ones. That's pretty cool to see them in the red ones, y'all. All right, so there we go. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I got a little bit of a cough. I apologize. All righty. So, there's Kaylee and Jordan squad. There we go. We just pulled your... Uh, Kaylee and Jordan, I had my Braves glasses on today. I said, go Jays. There you go. Jason, see uh, Kaylee and Jordan squad in the house. Uh, there you go, man. That's for you, man. Boba shit. Boba Fett is the hobbyist, calls him. Boba, Boba Fett. There he is. All right. Good luck to your Jays this season. All right. Ain't that, Jesse Winkler, ain't that Fonzie? Does he look like Fonzie? Oh, he does look a little like Fonzie. Yeah, that's true. I didn't see that. There you go. We got Bronco, baseball card illustrated in the house. Getting ready for his Milwaukee Brewers. There you go. Hey, Bronco, man. Super pumped, man. I'm doing great. I hope you're doing awesome, man. That's super pumped to have Bronco here with us tonight, man. That's a legend here in the car community, man. Super pumped about having him tonight here with me. So next, we're going to rip some 2022. We got Julio right here on the cover of it. Oh, wait a minute. We got to do six more questions, y'all. So we just did our first six questions. We predicted our winners. And by the way, y'all, we're doing this VR for Fox Crew Cards. Their channel is in the description below. Let's sub them up. Uh, let's get them to 500 subscribers. I appreciate y'all being here, man. Thank y'all for stopping by. Hope you're having a great Thursday. And what we're doing is we're doing six questions for this VR. And I want you to leave your comments who you think down in the chat below. And then we're going to rip a pack. So we're ripping some 2022, 2023. We just ripped 2022, 2023, 24. And then we're going to rip a 2017 opening day. Looking for Aaron Judge right here, baby. Let's go. All right. Let's go here. All right. Here we go. We're going down here. And, uh... <clears throat> Let's go. All right, let's go to our next question. Our next question is this. Who's going to have more wins this season? Will Vogue's Yankees or the Mets? Now, I know Daryl Giardo loves his Yankees. I'm thinking who else in here. Um, man, uh, Enfuego loves his Yankees. A lot of Yankees fans out there. I don't know a lot of Mets fans. There are a few out there. But uh, I know more Yankees fans than I do Mets fans. Who am I going to say more wins? Well, I'm definitely taking the Yankees. I'm taking that for Daryl Giardo, man, because I know he loves the Yankees. And I'm sorry, I, I love the Mets in the 80s. Uh, Daryl Strawberry, Dwight Gooden, Ron Darling, uh, Can I Go On, Ray Knight, some of my favorite, my, my favorite baseball teams of all times. But the Mets today, I can't pull for Pete Alonzo, y'all, I'm sorry. But I am pulling for the Yankees and Aaron Judge. Yankees or Mets, I'm taking Yankees, baby. Let's go. Let me know you got Yankees or Mets. Let me go in the chat below. Okay. More wins, Cubs or White Sox? Definitely. Definitely Cubs, uh, White Sox. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The White Sox have been okay, but definitely taking Cubs. Cubs are going to have a great year. All right. American League home run leader. That's under question number nine. And number nine is our American League home run leader. And I'm going to say, who is that? It could be Vladdy or, or Aaron Judge, right? That's who I'm thinking might be the two. You know what? I think Aaron Judge is going to come back and have a great year this year. So I'm going Aaron Judge by just a few home runs over Vladdy. But it's going to be a great competition all season long. But I'm going to go Aaron Judge. I just think Aaron Judge is going to have a comeback year. Um, I'm going Aaron Judge for that. Okay, or you could go Julio Rodriguez. Who knows who it could be? Somebody pro I probably would not even name. But I'm just saying I'm going with Aaron Judge. That's my pick. And number 10 is will the Angels make the playoffs? <laughs> No, no, the Angels will not make the playoffs. <laughs> they are horrible this year, especially since they lost to Tawny. I mean, good grief, no. Uh, that's an N-O. Um, no, question number 11 is number of wins by the Marlins. 
Well, how many games do they play in the season? I know it's like 100 or close to it or more. Let's go. How many games are in the baseball season? I need to ask that question. Uh, I'm going to ask that. I'm going to go over here and search that. How many games are... Y'all let me know in the chat if you know what that is. 79 games? 162 games? Um, Let's look at what the Marlins record was last year. Let's go to last year's. Let's look at the Miami Marlins. And last year... Let's see. How you doing, Sofa? Sofa's in the house? Um... Let's go Miami Marlins 2023 season. Let's... I'm going to search it here on my computer, y'all. Marlins 2023. Uh, let's see. I'm going to look up their record, what they were last year. I'll say about the same. I mean, they are pretty. They got Jazz Chisholm. Um, let's see. What is their record? Okay, 2023 Miami Marlins. They were... 84 and 78 last year, really? You know what? I'm going to say, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go pretty close to that because it looks like they had a pretty good season last year. 84 and 78? That's not too bad. Um, uh, let me give them, let me go 80. Hmm. 84, 78. That's a tough one. You play 162 games in the season, right? So I'm going to say Marlins go 81 and 81. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say they go 500 this year. 81 and 81 is my prediction. I'm going to say Marlins are a 500 team, and uh, that's what they're going to go this year. That's a tough one to predict right there. Um, So Miami Marlins, they got a good team. I, I You know, they're... They're not too bad. 84, that's not too bad. My, so I'm going to say 81 and 81. Number of win by the Pirates. Where's Zach's collection in the house? We got Titus in the house. Sith in the house. Hey, Sith, how you doing, man? Sith was killing it Monday night, y'all. Go watch uh, uh, Dan and Perch's channel. He was killing it, man, with all the awesome young guns he had uh, a Monday night, man. It was what a great stream. Great stream on Spine Tick Saturday night, Sith, man. I really enjoyed it. Um, here we go. And y'all, Saturday nights are for Spine Ticks, man. Brian Basketball. You got uh, Random Rips is now on the toot toot train, man. Shout out to Kev, man. That's awesome. Super pumped by the Y'all got 23 Munches there. All the bro Center Hill cards. Um, all the great channels there are there on Saturday night. And it all leads up Sensei Domino all up to Spine Ticks. Saturday nights are for Spine Ticks, baby. Let's go, man. All right. So I'm going to say 81 and 81 for the Miami Marlins. And our number 12 question, this will be our last one. How many wins will the Pirates have this season? Our Zach's collection. I hope he's in the chat still here. Let's see if Zach's collection's in here. How many wins will the the, the uh, <clears throat> let's go Pittsburgh Pirates? You know, I think the Pirates are going to be good, man. You got uh, O'Neill Cruz. You got a lot of good potential uh, players in there. You got a lot of young players in there. I think Pittsburgh's going to get better. <coughs> let's see here. Sorry about the coughing, y'all. I've had a little bit of a... I've been a little ill this week. I've, I've had a little bit of a cold... I say my... I've been taking some medicine. I'm just coughing. Maybe allergy season. I don't know, but... Um, what were the Pittsburgh Pirates last year? Let's see. 2023 Pittsburgh Pirates record. No, I think they're going to improve on last year. This is question number 12, and then we're going to rip a pack. Okay. Okay, they went 76 and 86 last year. You know what? I'm going to do the same with them. I'm going to say the Pirates will go 80 and 82 this year. They're going to have four more wins this year, and the Pirates, Pittsburgh Pirates, are going to be 80 and 82. So that's my prediction for the Pirates. Arr, y'all. We got 54 in the chat. What's your prediction? Pirates, do you think Pirates are going to get better? You got O'Neill Cruz. You got keep Brian Hayes. Uh, who's that guy in top series one? Henry, um, no, I can't remember his name. But you know, they got some talent there. Uh, I know Zach's collection's got to be, they got some good potential there in the future. So what do y'all think? Let me know in the chat below. I think they're going to be getting better. They're a young team. Um, they, they got some 
potential there. I think they're they're improving. Um, they're a team on the rise. I'll say that. Uh, not not definitely not on the decline for sure. All right, let's go to the chat, y'all. I'm sorry, I've been missing y'all in the chat. We got Titus. God is great coming to us from Japan. Um, let's go, man. Zach's collection said 162. <laughs> Arr. Hey, they won today. Zach, Zach's still here, man. Zach's a busy man. Orioles crushed Yankee Angels today, says Sid. But Trout got a home run. Hey, man. There you go. Random rips in the house. Part of that Saturday night train, man. Hey, Kevin. How you doing, man? Super pumped to see you on there, man. I, I got I watched the read Southern Boys in the house. I watched the replay of it. I had I had I, Saturdays are so crazy for me with the farms. But sometimes I'm not getting into late, man. It's from the farm nine ten nine so real late because I go out grocery shopping and everything. So it's busy, busy, busy night. All right, so there's our first twelve questions, y'all. So we're going to rip a 2023 pack right here thank y'all for watching don't forget like subscribe comment below man we've had about 50 here in the chat 58 in the chat y'all all right killing it man thank y'all i love this vertical stream so many awesome new people here if you're new here to the channel oh we got an awesome card coming up here in this pack i am super pumped about this card it's one of my favorite players and rookies in this set oh y'all better stay tuned i'm gonna be doing it more when it doesn't cross over to other streams yeah the vertical yeah, man, definitely Sid, man. Sid was the one who showed me about this vertical. Um, he did it on his channel, and I was like, I got to try it, man. Last week, we had 100-something here at one point. I know they had it last night. Oh, we had 80-something, I think it was. And they had it last night, Tim and, and uh, Maiden, and they had 120 in there. It was unbelievable. Thank you all. If you're new to this channel, y'all, don't forget to like, subscribe my channel, but also Fox Crew Cards, and we'd love to have you here. We rip sports cards. We go sports card hunting, toy hunting. Do it all, man. Comics, collectibles, love it all, man. All right. Max Castillo. We have Patrick Wisdom for the Cubs right there. We have, uh, let's see here. There's Yadier Molina for the Cardinals. J.J. Belay. Hey, there's Miami right there. There's a rookie right there. J.J. Belay. There's a rookie card. We got Kendall Graveman right there for the White Sox. Gregory Soto for the Tigers. Shout out to Sticks G and Lisa Z in the house. Got a red. Shout out to Grizzos cards. We got Vladir, Vladimir Gutierrez. I love watching Grizzos cards. Every morning I drop the kids off for school and I watch Grizzos cards on my way to work. Jordan Alvarez. He should have a great season. Hey, Taco Cat. We got Taco Cat. Tony Gosselin. Shout out. That's my favorite Dodger other than Freddie Freeman right here. He likes tacos. He likes cats, man. One of my favorite players is the Dodgers right there. All right, oh, yeah. and I like the Tawny, too. <laughs> There's my other favorite Dodger right there. Shout out to MV Free right there, Freddie Freeman. Ooh, we got a card backwards. It's, ooh, Julio, stars the MVP. Shout out to Barrett Bayhurst. Uh, man, I love that card right there. Shout out to Julio. I'll put that over the hits of the day. Let's see, I think, I think we'll put this card, this card, and this card as our hit so far. We got a big card coming here at the end. I'm super pumped about it. I'll probably put in a, Top loader. All right. We got Kansas City. There's Bobby Witt right there. Ooh, look at this card. Here's, here's a good card right here. We got Aaron Judge, uh, Jose Ramirez, and Kyle Tucker right there. That's a cool card. All right. Oh, and then we have Welcome Shower for Buxton, Minnesota Twins. We have Mets Bat Power Victory. Right there and look at here boom there we go michael harris rookie Woo! i love that i love that i think that's my third michael harris rookie man i love that i love michael harris my favorite atlanta braves man i need to put him over let me let me sleeve him up always sleeve my michael harris man there we go we'll put michael harris right here i hope he has a great season chopping it on for my braves man there he is right there. There he is. That's our hit of the day right there, Michael Harris. There we go. So we've hit 12 questions. Look at this, man. we got some Braves. we got Harris. We've got a Kuna pack coming up. And now we're on to question number 13 tonight. Let's go to the chat before we do that. Victor Negron in the house. How you doing, Victor? Thanks for stopping by, man. Let's see here. I collect in the house. Hey, man, I just want a big giveaway on iCollect's channel, man. I'm super pumped. Thank you, man, for all the awesome cards. He sent me, he's been messaging me. He's got an awesome package. And y'all, if it gets here before next week, we're going to have a monster rip here on the channel. 
next week. So y'all stay tuned to that. Um, I'm out on spring break next week, so we can stay up late and rip packs uh, late next week. So um, y'all stay tuned, man. We're going to have a, maybe we'll, I want to rip 33 packs next week um, for three years. I want to celebrate three years of Zach Sports Cards and Collectibles. And I'll be honest, it's getting busy in the farm season, so it may be one of the last Thursday nights where I can really go for a long time. And uh, we could have a big, big celebration next week. Oh, and maybe have a giveaway or so. Um, y'all stay tuned to that, y'all. Like, subscribe, comment below if you're new here. You might want to tune in. It's going to be pretty awesome. All right, so here's what we're going to do next. We're going to question number 13. Um, <clears throat> here we go. All right, so <clears throat> question number 13 is this. National League strikeout leader. <laughs> I'm so such I'm such a homer, y'all. I'm like swag, Ed. You know, I'm the homer, man. I, I can't wait to say swag starts his own channel, man. Uh, I'm really excited about his, his he wants to start his own show about his own team. I'm not gonna say a lot but today, but shout out to Swag, man. Swag's my bro. Uh he's got a great, great uh name to the channel. You should you should watch it. I hope he does, because I I'm in, I feel that same way, Swag. But who is the National League strikeout leader? My National League strikeout leader is going to be uh, Spencer Strider. I just, Strider's going to have a year. He's going to have an incredible year this year, leading my Braves. I cannot go for anyone else. I'm Homer, sorry. The National League strikeout leader is going to be Michael, is going to be Spencer Strider. Go Braves, jump on. Um, and then, let's see, number question number 14 is how many games will Mike Trout play? There's 162 games in the season. You know what? There, okay, Michael, Mike Trout probably can't play every game, right? So there's 162. I'm going to say Mike Trout plays 133 of those. Let's go with three. 133 games Mike Trout's going to play this season. I think he's going to stay healthy. He's going to have a good season. And Mike Trout will play 133 games. That's question number 14. Y'all, how many games will Mike Trout play? And I think he's going to play 133. So who do I think is the all-star MVP going to be this year? Hmm. That's a good question. All-star MVP. I love the all-star game, man. It's one of my favorite favorite games of the year. Um, who do I think is... <laughs> That's right. <laughs> DK put it in there. Thank you, DK. Um, who do I think the All-Star MVP is going to be? You know, I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm just going to say Ron Lacuna. What the heck? Uh, he's going to be the All-Star MVP. I'm a homer, man. I, I, I'm sorry. I just can't. I can't feel for anybody. My, Ron Lacuna is going to be the All-Star MVP. This guy right here, he's going to be the All-Star MVP. So there you go. Ron Lacuna. And then, who, uh, number of innings pitched for Clayton Kershaw? I have, oh, that's a tough one. Um... I have no idea how many innings Clayton Kershaw is going to pitch. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to throw a number out there. I'm going to say... I'm going to say 133. I'm going to just throw that out there. 133 innings is going to be pitched for Clayton Kershaw. That's a crazy number. I have no choice. I have no idea. I'm just throwing that. Somebody said 122. Yeah, that's a good guess. I, I'm going to say 133 because I like the three. So I'm going to do it. One, three, three. That's my number right there. All right. Ooh, there goes my computer. All right. Oh, oops, oops. Okay. My next question, number, number, let's see, number, okay, that's number 16. So number 16, I'm saying number of innings pitched for Clayton Kershaw is 133. Will Mike Trout reach 400 home runs this season? He's sitting on 368 home runs. So that means, well, now he's at 369 because this said he hit a home run today. So that means he has to hit 31 home runs this season. I think that's doable. Uh, you know what? Mike Trout's going to play a lot of games this year. So I say yes. For number 17, Mike Trout will reach 400 home runs this season. And he's sitting on 368. Mike Trout's going to have a great year. He's going to come back, and he's going to hit over 400 home runs a season, and he will be the bright spot on the Angels. Now, there didn't going to be very much bright spots on the Angels this year, but he will be it. Plus, he doesn't have Atani on there no more, so he'll be hitting all the home runs for him. And question number 18, this will be the last one before we rip this pack of Acuna, how many games will Aaron Judge play? Well, you know what? I'm going to say Aaron Judge is going to stay healthy this year. 
I'm going to say he plays 143 games. 143 games Aaron Judge is going to play. I really think he's going to have a great season. So I'm going to say 143 games Aaron Judge is going to play. All right. Angels, ownership's terrible. <laughs> they keep making worse moves, that's it. I know it's got to be tough, but you got Dodgers, man, that's it. That's a good thing about having two teams in the same city, man. If one doesn't do good, you got the other one, which that, that's got to be a bright spot for sure. Um. Okay, so, and I always have a soft spot in my heart for guys that stay with one team. I was hoping they could, something with Madden was manager. Oh, that's what Vince was saying about the Cubs. Um. I said that as I'm wearing my, my Angels hat. That's right, Seth. Hey, I understand. Look, I'm a Falcons fan. I, it's tough. Hogs fan. I, under, I, totally, I totally feel you, man. All right. <clears throat> all right, so here we go. Um, um, all right, go, we're going to rip another pack. And uh, Judge has many jury duties to attend. <laughs> That's very, very, <laughs> watch out for Soto. Even if healthy... Boone looks to rest Judge a lot, yeah. So that's what I'm saying, 100 and, what did I say, 140, 143? That's one of those two answers. Take them, five, screw it's one of those two. <laughs> All right, we're at number 18. we got six more questions to go, and then we're going to finish. All right, so here we go right here. We're going to rip series. This year's series one, I still haven't pulled Ellie Dale Ellie Cruz. And, um, and with Trout and Otani, you just need to be, Decent, yeah, definitely, says Vince. Yeah, definitely. All right, y'all, so here we go. We're going to rip one of these, and I appreciate all y'all being here. How many we got in the chat? 48, man. We had about 50 in the chat all night. This is awesome, y'all. Appreciate all the new people watching, subscribing, uh, being here tonight, supporting, man. Y'all are awesome. I really, really appreciate y'all. Y'all are awesome out there. All right, this is not the red we're looking for, but there's Jonathan India right there. Bryson Stott right there for the Phillies. I love this year. It looks like it does look like 86 times. We got Grayson Rodriguez, future stars. That's a cool card. Josh Naylor, Guardians, aka the Indians. Uh, Jorge Mateo for the Orioles, right there. David Hamilton, rookie card. Uh, Mike Trout, talking about Mike Trout. Look at there. We speak of Mike Trout, and he delivers. <laughs> look at that. Man, I, I'm going to start mentioning other players. Maybe I'm going to start talking about LA or a Cruz, and I'll pull him. That's pretty cool. I'll be a bit of the day. Look at that. Here's a cool card. There's an 89. I love these, man. You know, I was a collecting. When I was collecting, 89 was kind of one of the peak years I was collecting. This is a rookie for the Angels, Nolan Chanel. I do like the 89s there. Ooh, here you go. Here's a Brave rookie, A.J. Smith Shaw. I don't even know if he's playing for the Braves this year or not, or he's in, in Gwinnett. That's cool. We got a Braves rookie. I'll take that. Ella Harris Montero for the Rockies. Shout out the swag and the Rockies right there. And all right, so here we go. Here's our, our Fanatics exclusive, Luis Mateos. That's a rookie Fanatics exclusive. That's cool. And then our last card is a Riley Green, Stars of MLB. All right. Hey, we got a, we got a trout out of there. That was cool. We'll put trout right here. Shout out the trout. All right, let me get my cards together here. And we got one more pack to go and six more questions. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Happy three-pack Thursday, y'all. Look at that. That's all the cards we ripped tonight, y'all. Clearly, that's a lot. <laughs> that's pretty fun. Let me go back and look through that pack, see if there's anything I missed. Number. We did pull, hey, look. When you pull a rookie Fanatics exclusive, that is pretty cool. So that, we'll put that in there in the hits of the day. I don't know anything about him, but still, I don't know. I was watching the Reds and the Nationals play tonight. I uh, watched a little of that game tonight. Oh, my Hawks are playing tonight. I wonder how they're doing. They've won three in a row. Maybe they'll win tonight. Shout out to the Dixon Way and Larry. I hope he's doing well. I need to jump over there at some point tonight and see how they're doing. All right, here we go. Let's go to the chat before we go to these next six questions. And we're going to go... Let's see here. Um, this Monday had not bad, no kitchen table. Yeah, I saw Daryl, y'all pull some fire at the kitchen table break, man. I was watching a little bit of it on Facebook. Oh, happy Easter. Yeah, happy Easter, everybody, y'all. Uh, happy Easter, everybody. I didn't even say that to everyone. Yeah, happy Easter, everybody. I hope everybody has a happy Easter. Uh, hope the Easter Bunny comes to your house. Thank y'all, man. Happy Easter, everyone. There's Will Vogs in the house. 
Hey, man, Will, I was shouting out your Yankees and shouting you out earlier tonight, man. And I was shouting out Lowe's because I went to Lowe's today. Shout out to Lowe's Ticks. Um, hey, yeah, Will, I saw you on Zach's collection tonight, too, man. You're killing it, man. Um, so here we go. We're going to go to number question number 19. We're doing a VR for Fox Crew cards. We're, riv we're doing six questions, and then we're ripping a pack. And our last pack, Will, you just came in at the right time. Guess who we're hunting for here? 2017 opening day, man. We're hunting for your boy, Aaron Judge, your Yankees. It's our last pack of the day. Let's bring this pack over here so y'all can see it. That's going to be our last pack of the day after we get done with these six questions. Got this at Target on the sports card hunt. I've ripped three of these, I think, and I still have not pulled an Aaron Judge. I'm doing it, man. I did pull a Dansby Swanson rookie out of there. <clears throat> Barry Barry says enough Yankees talk. <laughs> hey, I understand. You gotta love all teams, man. All right, so let's go to number nineteen. How many errors will? Here's the question number eighteen. How many errors will Dodger shortstop Mike Bettis make it short? Mookie, no. How many errors will Dodger shortstop Mookie Betts make it short? What? I thought Mookie Betts played in the outfield. Maybe they moved him. I don't know. I'm not up to get on the Dodgers. <laughs> if he is, I'm going to say 33 errors. 33 errors uh, if he's playing short stuff, Mookie Betts is going to make. If he's playing it short. 33. Because 3 and 3. I'm just throwing that. <laughs> Barry Bears is all of them. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm going to say 33. Victor Negron says 26. Yeah, I'm going to say 33, because that's the number I like going with. All right. Question number, let's go, question number 20. Which pitcher will have the most wins for the Rockies? Oh, my gosh. I don't even know who pitches for the Rockies. <laughs> Did we pull a card that's a pitcher for the Rockies? Let's see if we do. Let's see if he's on the team. No, this guy plays third base for the Rockies. Does Swag even know this? He's a Rockies fan. I don't even think he knows who pitches for the Rockies. I have no idea. Maybe we need to look that up on the internet. Who pitches for the Rockies, y'all? I have no idea. Okay. I'm going to look up the starting rotation for the Colorado Rockies. <coughs> I have no idea. All right. I'm going to look that up real quick, y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Uh, who knows that one? That's the real question of the day. Who, who, uh, what, let me ask you a question again. Which pitcher will have the most wins for the Rockies? Okay, let's go to... Let's search Rockies pitchers. <laughs> I can't even think of a Rockies pitcher, y'all. I mean, because you know, if you live in... If you play a pitch for Colorado, you're going to get really killed for home runs. Um, now, I know a lot of good hitters that have played for the Rockies over there. You think of Larry Walker, Dante Bichette, um many others, but I don't know who pitches for the Rockies. Okay. Here's the roster. Um, who's their starting pitcher for opening day? That's what I'll go with. Okay. Um, I'm going to go whoever their starting pitcher is this year. Let's see where he is. Um, I'm trying to go through the roster. Well, that's not even letting me. Okay. Okay. I'm going to cookie. Let's go to the roster. Um... 40-man roster. Okay, let's go down to their pitchers. I'm going to say... That doesn't even show what position they play. Wait a minute. Where is it at? Pitchers. Okay, pitchers. Um, let's see if I know any of these guys that pitch on their team. I have no idea. No, this guy's in the minors. Um, wow. I don't know any of these guys. Y'all, I'm going through this Rockies lineup of their pitchers. Man, there's so many no-names on this team. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to go. I don't even know who this guy is, but I like his name. I'm going to go Dakota Hudson. Dakota Hudson. He probably is not even going to pitch for him, but I'm going to say Dakota Hudson is the one that wins the most wins for the Padre this year. I don't even know if he's going to be pitching with him in the season, but that's my guess. Dakota Hudson. <laughs> that's a guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wild prediction, y'all. Y'all let me know. Who do y'all think in the chat? Anybody know any uh, Rockies pitchers? Let me know in the chat below. Um, 
Oh, Sean Jett, I'm master in the house. Hey, Sean, how you doing, man? Thanks for stopping by, man. Good luck to your Astros this season, man. Um, so that's what I'm going to go in. Dakota Hudson is my pick for, for uh, he'll get the most wins by pitcher for the Colorado Rockies. That's a crazy guess. Probably he won't even be pitching for the team at the end of the season, but let's just go with it. All right. <laughs> and then um, more wins. Who's going to win more wins? Max Scherzer. That's what Papa J used to call him. Or Nathan Avaldi. Well, I don't know anything much about Nathan Avaldi. I'm probably sure he's a great player. I've never even heard of him. I don't even know who he pitches for. But I know Max Scherzer is, and I'm going to go with Max Scherzer uh, with more wins because he's got a lot of good reputation. And so and that's my pick for question number 21. We've got two more questions to go. Will Yandy Diaz get traded by the Rays this season? I don't know who Yandy Diaz is. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a real homer, man. I, I, I know a lot of players, but I don't know. I guess, I mean, I know a lot about baseball. But you know what? Sure, he's going to get traded. Uh, he plays for the Rays, man. They probably, they're hurting without Wander Franco. Sure, they're going to trade him. Um, number of wins by the Oakland A's. Now, this is a good one. You pay 162 games. I'm going to say the Oakland A's win 50 games this year. That's how many games. I'm going to give them 50 games, and a.k.a. the soon-to-be Las Vegas A's are going to win 50 games this year. That's my prediction for them. And two teams in the World Series. <laughs> I'm going to go wild on this. Who Now, y'all, let's take a minute and do this. Who are going to be your two teams in the World Series? Let me know in the chat below. Who are your two, two teams in the World Series? I'm going... Well, y'all let me know in the chat below, and I'm going to read it. And then I'll tell you what mine is, okay? Also, question number 25, tiebreaker. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you all that. The tiebreaker is number of total hits in the World Series. I'm going with 30. No, not 33, because you get a lot of hits in a game. And even if it was a sweep, that would be it. No, but okay, you could pitch a no-hitter. Yeah, I'm going to go 33 hits in the World Series. That's what I'm going to go. No, 33 hits. That probably is going to be wrong. But I'm going to go 33 hits in the World Series. But let me know in the chat, who are your two teams in the World Series this year? American League and National League. I want to know. I'm going to read off the chat as we go before I tell you my two teams. Y'all know what one of them is because y'all know I'm a homer. All right. Um, Yankees, Braves. Oh, I love that one. Astros, Braves. Astros, Braves, says Sean Jedi Master. Um, Mariners, Braves, says Barrett. Cubs over Blue Jays in four, says Jay Thompson. I know he loves the Chicago Cubs. Shout out to Jay Thompson. Jay Thompson had the greatest video. Me and my daughter was watching Jay Thompson. Were you feeding squirrels or those chipmunks? Uh, they came right up and ate the food off his hand uh, in a video. Y'all got to go watch that video. That was great, Jay. My daughters really love that video, by the way. Uh, Braves over Orioles, says Bronco, man. That would be a great World Series, man. Uh, Battle of the Hots. Hot Lana versus Houston, man. Oh, that would be bad. Thunder Celtics. <laughs> this is Ryan basketball. Well, Oklahoma City doesn't have a team, but that would be... Boston does. <laughs> hey, undrafted fl player Fabian in the house. How you doing, Fabian? Uh, go Cubs, go, says Matty Ice. He doesn't have... Dodgers, Rangers? I hope not, says Victor Negron. Man, that's awesome, man. I love these predictions, y'all. Yeah, a lot of great picks right here. Um, let me know, who do y'all think? Mariners, Braves, I like that. Barrett says DK. Toot Toot Fabian, there we go. Y'all, who do you got? Who you got playing in the World Series? Let me know in the chat below, y'all. That's what we're talking, we're talking World Series, man. I'm super excited. Well, let me tell you what my prediction is. You know I'm, I'm Homer. Homer. <laughs> I, I, look, I want these guys to go to the World Series so bad and win another one. I want Matt Olson to win a World Series, so you know I gotta have these. And you know what? I'm going to go with a crazy, crazy team in the American League. And you're not even going to think. You're going to be like, what are you talking about, Zach? But I'm going for a rematch of the 1991 World Series. I want the Braves and the Twins in the World Series, man. And I want these guys to get revenge. Sorry, Julie. But I want revenge on the Minnesota Twins. One thing I want to see before I die is I want to see the Braves and Twins in a rematch. And I want the Braves to win. But uh, that would be my, that's my prediction. That's a crazy, crazy prediction. I don't even know how good the Twins are going to be this year. But I would love to see that. Now, Braves-Yankees would be great. Braves-Orioles would be great. I think Orioles are going to be stacked this year, man. Orioles are going to be awesome. Um, Braves may not even, look, last two years, Braves can't even get out of the, 
wild card. So they have to start playing good in the playoffs. They have great regular seasons, but they got to deliver in the playoffs. And I'm a realist. Look, they should go a lot farther. And the Dodgers and Braves both should have gone farther in the playoffs last year. Um, and they deserve to be. Space Case in the house? Is he here tonight? Space Case cards, man. How you doing? Braves, Orioles? There you go. Thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, Twins could have to add a piece or two. I know. I'm just throwing that out there. I just always wanted to rematch. <laughs> <laughs> Braves got to win. My nephew needs a World Series ring. That's right. Daryl's nephew works the Braves. He needs a World Series ring. So let's get him a ring this year, Braves. Come on, man. That's right. That's right. All right. So there's my prediction. And uh, there's, like I said, I think there'll be 33 hits in the World Series. Um, and there'll be Braves, Yankees, and Braves Twins. Uh, wouldn't be surprised. I, Braves don't even go. Probably Phillies. I don't know. Who knows? Could be Dodgers. Dodgers are loaded, man. I mean, <laughs> I think it's World Series or bust for the Dodgers, too, man. They they got to win it with all the money they put into it. They got to go, man. It, it's um, And they probably could. They most likely will. All right, here we go. So this is the grand finale of the night tonight. We're going to rip open a pack of 2017 opening day. We are on the hunt for an Aaron Judge rookie card. So, man, I hope we can pull that tonight. This is a, You know, I was just going to open up three years of Top Series 1, but this is opening day. And this is opening day today. And let's celebrate, man. They don't make opening day no more. And this is 2017, so let's rip it. I got this out of a $17 Target box. And uh, we'll see who we pull. All right. <clears throat> We're going to start off with the Chicago Cub right here. We got Ben Zobrist right here, the Cubs. We have James Shields for the White Sox. We have Adrian Gonzalez of the Dodgers. Jose Altuve right there. There we go, Altuve. Mashiro Tanaka of the Yankees. We have Brian Dozer of the Twins right there. Shout out the Twins. That's my prediction, World Series. Madison Baumgartner for the Giants. I think Giants are going to be improved this year. Garrett Cole, look at that. He's pitching for Pittsburgh there. I think I've already pulled one of these. That's the second one. Adrian Beltre of the Texas Rangers. Here's a rookie, Soon Wong Ho of the Cardinals. I probably butchered that, sorry. And then here's our rainbow, Danny Duffy. That's cool. We have a Carlos Santana Superstars. We have Mr. Red. Shout out to Mr. Red right there. There we go, Mr. Red. Shout out to him. Opening week. There you go, the Angels. Happy opening day, y'all. Jacob DeGrom for the Mets. Look at there, he's pitching for the Mets. Kenta Maeda of the Dodgers. M Jackie Bradley Jr. John Lester. Mike Trout. Hey, I'll take a Trouty right there. That's 2017, too. Put that over the side. Uh, Matt Kemp. Jose DeLon. Adam Duvall. Oh, I don't think we're going to pull a judge. Bradley, Brandon Shippey, and Cameron Maben. Ah, but I'll tell you this. I think the hit of that pack was a Trout. And we pulled two Trouts tonight. That's not bad. We'll sleeve that up. All right. Here we go. We'll put that. We'll look, we pulled two trouts tonight. We pulled a Michael Harris. I'll take that, man. Let's say, uh, let's see, Bocce has his hands full with the Cubbies today, he said. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, there. So there we go. So there's my prediction. Fox Crew Cards, their channel is in the description below. This has been a fun VR, man. I thought it was cool we'd do some packs and then we would uh, talk about the, the, our predictions, man. I've had a fun time doing this tonight. It's been so much fun. I appreciate all y'all being here, man. We've had about 50 so in the chat here. I love this vertical thing, man. I'm going to keep doing this. Um, a lot of awesome people showing up. If you're new to the channel and watching this on the replay, uh, hit that subscribe button to my channel and Fox Screw Cards and all these guys. If you're watching in the chat, too, so to them, man. Let's build up this card community, man. Let's grow, man. Let's build everybody up. And I appreciate everybody that's been here tonight supporting, liking, subscribing. Y'all are awesome out there. 10th inning tied at Cubs 3. I can't see the rest of that. Sean, let's see here. There we go. 
Um, <clears throat> two trout sounds like some of my fishing experiences. <laughs> that's Barry, Barry. That's right, Barry. There we go. Um, let's see here. We got uh, Bruce Botch is a genius. He will succeed to go bring back the Rangers to the World Series as undrafted player. Man, there you go. There's a good prediction, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tied 3-3, three, three, Cubbies, Rangers, man. All right. So happy opening day, y'all, man. I appreciate y'all all stopping by this week for three-pack Thursday. Man, it's been an awesome stream. I think we're going to have a big stream next week, y'all. I think we're going to rip 33 packs. Um, we might. Stay tuned to that. Um, we're going to rip something big next week. I'm going to have a fun stream next week. And then the next week, we're going out to the greenhouse. We're going to be live from the Zach Sports Cards greenhouse on location. I'm excited about that. I might go live on my gardening channel tomorrow while I'm working in the farm. Y'all have a great night. Thank you, Brian, for all you want to support. Brian's been here before the stream even started. Toot toot to Brian. Saturday nights. I think Brian's having a live stream tonight. Let me know in the chat below, Brian, if you're going live tonight. Um, Y'all go support Brian. There's also some great channels going live. I don't know if Barrett's going live tonight. If Barrett, you are going live, let me know in the chat and we'll promote that. Um, I know the Rushmore show is live tonight. Um, Y'all go back and watch Zach's Collections. 100th episode of Jank Pack Thursday. It was great. Um, have a great weekend, Vince. Thank you. Vince is awesome, man. He was talking in his videos about coming here on Thursday nights, and that means a lot to me, Vince. Uh, thank you very much for all the wonderful support, man. Really appreciate it. Ten minutes. Yeah, all right. Uh, ten minutes, Brian Basketball is going live, y'all. So go jump on this bus. Let's go support Brian. Uh, no, I'm watching Mariners. Barrett says, no live stream tonight. He's watching the Mariners, man. Good luck to your Mariners, man. Um, have a good Easter, everybody. Yeah, yeah, I hope the Easter Bunny comes visit you. Um, I'm looking forward to Easter. Easter is one of my favorite, favorite days of the year. And, uh, Del Murphy for president says, Barry, that's right. And my opening day, basically, good thing is I'm off of work tomorrow. So I can watch the opening day for the Braves tomorrow. Because I think they're playing at 3 p.m. I think they're playing a double hitter tomorrow. Because I know, you no, know, they weren't scheduled to play tomorrow. So they're moved the game. They, I think they just got one game tomorrow. But, um, looking forward to that. Uh, look, Saturday nights are for spine ticks. There's a big train, a lot of great live premieres. You want to go jump on those on Saturday night. And then Saturday night, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday nights are for spine ticks. And I'll be there. I look forward to every Saturday night watching. Tomorrow night, I'll be on the OT Hockey Show with Dan and Perch, y'all. 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to be breaking out my hockey cards. I'm really excited about joining these guys. It's going to be a great stream. They are killing it on Friday nights. It's going to be so much fun. And then after that, you're going to have Aaron Sports Cards and things. is going live after that. So y'all go jump on Sport Aaron as well. Uh, I know um, From the Hilt goes live on, on Friday nights as well. So y'all go support Logan and all them. They have a great live stream as well. <clears throat> Faith Family and Sports. Aaron, he goes live a lot. There he is in the chat. Hey, good luck to your Reds this season, Aaron. Let's see if we pulled any Reds today. Did we pull any Reds tonight? Let's see here. Oh, we pulled Mr. Red tonight. Shout out to Faith Family and Sports, man. We pulled... Pull Mr. Red tonight for your Reds tonight. <laughs> I know they love the Reds. Happy opening day to everyone, man. I, you know, whatever your team, just I love this time of the year. I love baseball season, man. And and I know I'm a homer and I love my Braves, but I love. Hey, we pulled your boy right here, Jonathan India, right here, Aaron. There you go. And y'all go subscribe to Faith Family and Sport. Aaron and his family have a great channel. Um, oh, we pulled a Jesse Winkler 2021's Greatest Hits Rainbow tonight. That was pretty cool. Um, y'all go support Aaron Faith Family and Sports if you're not subscribed. He's got a great channel. Him and his family. You want to go to a cool place and hang out on a Friday or Saturday night or Sunday night whenever they go live. It's going over there to Faith Family and Sports. Uh, sometimes I don't even comment that I'm in the chat, but I'm in there watching all the time. And a great family atmosphere. You know, he'll rip some packs and blasters and talk about sports cars, but also add their family in there. And uh, it's just a great family atmosphere and uh, great content, man. And y'all go sub him up, man. <clears throat> so hey dk man yeah let's go man we had fun night tonight i think my favorite pool is this one pull a michael harris rookie tonight man i love that i mean you know anytime i can get a michael harris rookie i'm just such a huge fan of his so that's one of my favorite cards in that series one of last year was this michael harris some super pump. we pulled two trouts tonight that's pretty cool a 2017 trout too which that's that's even cooler uh because the older trouts are awesome so that was pretty cool, man. So, y'all, I tell you this: we how long have we been going now? Well, we've been going about an hour. Or so, I man, we still got what 
36. We've had about 50 here in the chat. This vertical thing, man, this is awesome, man. Getting a lot more viewers here to the vertical streaming. So, y'all, I'm not telling you what you should and shouldn't do, but if you're going live, try the vertical, because I'm telling you this, uh, I'm seeing a lot more people jumping in here in the vertical, and I appreciate y'all new people coming in here. Appreciate I hope you can like, subscribe my channel, and Thought Screw Cards, and all the guys here in the chat. If you're new here, help support them in building this community up. And, uh, yeah, Harris is a great young player. I'm super excited about him. I'm looking forward to his, his season this year for sure. But, y'all, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to get some – I don't have, I have to get them still take the kids to school tomorrow, but no school for me because I work at a Christian college, and it's Good Friday, and we're not going to have work tomorrow. The college is closed. So I am off next week for spring break. The kids are out for spring break, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to get some work done and have a good week and uh, maybe go out sports card hunting, working at the farm. I'm getting things done, man. That's right. So, <laughs> y'all have a great one, y'all. Thanks for watching, y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below to my channel, but also Fox Crew Cards. Uh, I had a great time doing this VR. This is their sixth annual prediction contest, and y'all do a VR as well to support them. Uh, I, I, I answered all their questions. Uh, their description is in the description below. Hey, so I'm going to say one thing. Like I always say every end of my videos, Zach out! Y'all have a good one, y'all. See y'all later, y'all. Bye-bye. Woo! Ah! I'm out, y'all. Have a great one.